All right, consumer sentiment, some red folder news coming out in the next five seconds. Let's see where the market wants to take us. Okay. This is setting up for the short. Liquidity taken on ES. Pulling back. We just we just need a gap to fill. Or uh, I mean a uh, we just need ES to leave a gap. Displace and leave a fair value gap. And with that candle close, this looks like a horrible short. Right now we're looking at what I'm seeing is a liquidity liquidity grab on ES. You see those equal lows taken. And NQ has yet to take sell side liquidity or you know return into some internal liquidity, which would be that fair value gap below. All right, we're trading into this fair value gap on ES, but NQ is just past its highs again. So definite SMT, NQ leading, seems like it would have been good to, to take a long in NQ, but you know, e even if there is a setup to go long, I don't have a target. So yeah, I don't have a target. I don't have a framework to set up a long, at least this high. So I'm just not going to take it. All right, we got the break of structure on NQ. ES following now, ES break of structure. The thing is, I might I might miss this first leg because I want to see how we react to this five minute fair value gap on NQ. Because uh, well, based on what I've seen this week, in an insane bullish run. Now we have taken that higher time frame liquidity, but it's better to get in, you know, on the second or third leg. Maybe not better, but a lot safer for sure. It's starting to show a little promise. ES retrace into this tiny, tiny one minute fair value gap right here. Let's see how much risk it would be. Okay. If it gives me the chance, I might I might enter that trade. ES has been weaker, as you've seen earlier. Maybe if NQ, NQ does have that tiny fair value gap up there too. That's why I'm thinking though, ES could retrace further back up. Maybe if NQ can give me this entry right here, fair value gap. Targeting this 15 minute fair value gap, 80 points, 14 point risk for 80 point reward. I would definitely take that. NQ showing some, having a nice reaction out of this five minute fair value gap. Hopefully it can retrace into my entry area and uh, I'll take five MNQ short. So it, it'll be less than $200 risk. I might have to chase it. I might get a better entry. You know, we won't know till we get there. And it looks like I missed my entry. Wow, ES is taking that sell side we created during consumer sentiment. NQ not leaving a single fair value gap to enter on. Could enter off that order block right there. ES just traded into small little fair value gap. We also took sell side on ES, but these, these shallow runs, I, I just don't like them. It's really showing like high resistance right now. And another low on ES. It looks like I picked the wrong indice to trade. NQ's got that one minute fair value gap. This looks like it could be a a breaker block on NQ, but not really sure. So I'm not going to mark it. I'll just keep an eye on it though. Yeah, it looks like we already traded into this five minute FVG for the inversion play, but oh wait, we have a fair value gap now. 
Okay, NQ finally left us a fair value gap. That I'm not going to enter. ES into this. What is this? 15 minute fair value gap. Yeah. It's probably going to blow right past that stop, which is the high of the fair value gap candle. And yeah, that, that's usually where I like it. I don't have the drawdown for the very top, but yeah, there, there it goes. I probably missed this trade. I mean, if you look right here, we filled this bullish fair value gap to the left. And we're going to probably come down into here. If I were to enter, though, you know, enter right as this retrace back into this inversion. Pretty good, actually. 14 point risk. Price is stalling right here. Another bearish, a bearish fair value gap we created. Actually a BPR, but price is stalling and it's very, very tempting. Very tempting to go short right now. All right, I'm in this trade, y'all. Going five micro short on this trade. So about $165 risk, two R. And now, uh, now we wait. There we go. ES moving lower. NQ didn't break the swing on that one. ES did. Currently up 10 points. Let's see if we can get this momentum to keep going. All right, NQ broke below the swing. This is very good so far. Very good. Oh, so good. 20 points so far in NQ. Maybe I'll leave it in Quant Tower because, you know, when that TP hits, something about your limit order hitting feels so much better than market ordering out. We're kind of stalling right here. I hope this swing doesn't, you know, make us bounce, bounce too far back. Like I said earlier, showing some high resistance right now. Yep. Here it goes. Actually just going to go ahead and move my stop to break even. Yeah. I haven't been holding until my take profit. So, you know, it's either break even or take profit. Simple as that. I want to see it hit and I don't think it should retrace. Yeah. Now we got a fair value gap. So. Fair value gap right here. Oh, we're coming for it. Come on now. Is that not it? Bouncing right off that level. So tempted to close right now. Take profit hit. Let's go. Let's go. Pretty good trade for these conditions, I would say. Here's my Quant Tower. I use Quant Tower's uh, free trade copier today. As you can see, there's two orders here, both for the same amount, 332. So I made $660 today just trading five micros. And yeah, I'm content with my trade today. So I'm gonna call it here and that's that. That's it for today's video. I hope y'all enjoyed it and maybe learned something in the process. Also, both Bulinox and Apex are running 80% off discounts for all their evaluations. I'm currently using multiple funded accounts as you saw a little bit ago. And if you want to get into some futures funded trading, I have some codes and links in the description below to help you get started. You can also check my community tab to see some updates and the current best discount codes to use. We had a 90% off sale and I hope a few of you took that opportunity and grabbed some accounts. Anyways, more videos coming soon. If you enjoyed what you saw, give this video a like, comment if you caught a similar trade as me, and make sure to subscribe to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. I'll see y'all in the next one.